Hello there, this is another Man the Capstan Exhibit Insight, and we have here a much anticipated item that uh, we've been kind of looking forward to showing here to you today. It is an 1827 uh, replica Royal Navy ceremonial sword, uh, kind of a full dress sword. Wouldn't really have been used in uh, you know day to day operations. I say 1827 because it's based off of a model that was designed in that year or thereabouts, which was based off of an 1805 sword, which is commonly known as the Nelson Trafalgar sword, which was the sword that was worn by Horatio Nelson at the Battle of Trafalgar. This one uh, was acquired from uh, eBay, and it was sent from Australia, and it is actually intended to replicate a uh, an Australian Royal Navy sword or Commonwealth sword. Uh, so that's kind of neat there, and we got a pretty good deal on it there. Uh, it's got uh, solid brass there on the hilt. You can see from this distance here the uh, filed anchor and crown of the Navy. And you can see the uh, kind of a, a replica ivory hilt there, and the lion's head, and the tang button on the, uh, on the pommel. And we have an actual authentic uh, Royal Navy sword um, knot there. Thank you. A uh, Royal Navy sword knot there that actually would be used by members of the Royal Navy. That was used on an older sword and we've just kind of transplanted it over here into the new one. Uh, brass uh, components here and uh, the really neat thing about this sword which we didn't actually expect is that the uh, scabbard is, is real leather so it, it kind of has a it's not as, as firm as you would expect a, a real sword to be but that's the way they were designed and we'll just have the sword here drawn here so you can see the blade which is probably the there's a little clasp oh. on the bottom there oh, yeah just flip it around And I'll show you here the scabbard real quick. It is real leather because it is kind of buoyant there. Now the really interesting part about this sword is perhaps the etching on it. And we'll show you some macro detail of that etching. And both sides are different here. And I still haven't yet uh, figured out exactly what all of it means. Um, but I'm sure that every part of it is, is symbolic or ceremonial. It means something, I'm sure. And there's our sword knot there. And I'll get a gander of that fouled anchor and crown. And we'll flip her over to check out the other side where we can see perhaps one of the more exciting aspects, the crown, oh, the crown and anchor all along there. And this looks like a place where you'd be able to put a name. So you've got kind of almost like a little plaque area. Describe the name of the owner, which is kind of neat. And up there, the symbolic Star of David. So, really nice addition to the uh, Man the Caps tent. This will be worn by uh, the Royal Navy uh, version 1. Um, yeah. Can point that little thing out? Oh, yeah. We got here, this is uh, part of the actual scabbard, the way it actually comes in here. It's really neat. And we'll show you here how she goes. So we'll draw her. Or she, then I should say, and then the, this little kind of clasp here actually goes over top this little little button, and it actually secures it quite nicely to the sword. And that's a n neat little feature because I wouldn't want someone running up and trying to draw it without me knowing it. So that keeps it firmly in in the sheath there. So the um, the uh, belt hooks onto here. There's a little hanger on the belt which you probably have seen, and the knot actually has a hole already in there for it. I haven't figured out what these two uh, holes here on the interior are, but I'm sure I will. All in all, really nice addition. Call all hands to man the capstan, see the cable run down clear.